welcome to another edition of Daily Hope. I'm Eileen Hernandez. Today's Bible verse is from Revelation 21, verse 3. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. Last weekend, I went camping with my daughter Dominique, my son-in-law Brandon, and my two grandkids, Aiden and Athena. Now, I don't claim to be an experienced camper, but there are some lessons I'm learning along the way. Like this, five gallon electric charging water dispenser that seemed like a great idea for washing. The only thing is that it had a mind of its own. There were times where it wouldn't shut off or in the middle of the night, it would randomly turn on its own, just wasting water. Or this nylon camouflage hammock that I bought that ripped just after one use. Or the biggest laugh of all time when I ordered this really cool tent that looked like a log cabin, only to end up with this that came in the mail. Pegs, but no tent. Beware, that was a scam. But I did end up getting my money back. Nevertheless, a few days away from the city, under the canopy of trees, it was so peaceful. The air abuzz with sounds of nature, babbling creeks, and chirping birds. Now, you may be wondering what these reminiscences have to do with Revelation 21. There doesn't appear to be anything about camping in that passage, but if we were to look up the Greek word skene, translated as dwelling place in the standard Greek English lexicon, you'd find as the primary translation tent, booth, or camp. There's a wonderful scene in Genesis 32 where Jacob, having left his father-in-law and setting out on his own with his family, his servants, and livestock, encounters the angels of God. He overnights there and names the place Mahanaim, saying, this is God's camp. For someone who just went camping, God's tent pitched alongside mine is a powerful image. Jacob had eyes to see the angels making camp with him. I wonder how often God's tent has been right next to mine, and I didn't know it. In the Greek translation of the Old Testament, the word skene was used for the tabernacle, the tent where God made his presence known to the Israelites. I want to draw our attention to one other biblical passage that uses camping, tabernacle imagery in a striking way. In the opening chapter of John's Gospel, we read, the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only son who came from the father, full of grace and truth. According to John, Jesus is the new tabernacle, if you will, the new dwelling of God on earth. In Jesus, we glimpse God's glory. Thus, as we await God's dwelling with us in the future, we can know God and dwell with him through the word of God incarnate. God camping with us in the person of Jesus Christ. Consider today, how has Jesus Christ made God known to you? Join me now in prayer. Gracious God, we thank you for the promise and hope of this passage. One day you will camp out with us, you will dwell with us, and we will dwell with you in a way that we can only imagine today. Thank you for this hope. Yet, we also thank you for being with us now. Thank you for being present in Jesus, in your spirit, and in your people. Thank you for making yourself known to us in so many different ways. Help us, we pray, to live in fellowship with you, remembering you and your presence throughout the day. Amen. Well, friends, if you've enjoyed these inspirational messages, be sure to like, click, share, and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, God bless.
and happy camping. <laughs>